Donnelly is already breaking from his party. Fox 59 Morning News continues now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock now on your Sunday morning. Um, if you're like me, you slept with the windows open last night. It was very nice. We're expecting a little rain today. So become more seasonal. High of 86 on Friday, back up near 87 by next Saturday. All right, Amber, thanks a lot. Once you start earning money, it's important to talk about how to maintain that and grow that. With students returning to school soon, so many classrooms don't touch on personal finances. So still ahead, we are talking with finances with the executive director at an organization looking to give students the tools they need to keep and to manage their money. With American workers. I'm proud to be an American and to work at Meyer. I am proud to work for Meyer. I'm Mike Braun and I approve this message. Welcome back to Fox 59 Morning News. Students these days are graduating with more debt than ever before. A lot of young people say they never or only rarely actually talk about money management with their parents. Executive Director at Sensibility, a nonprofit that teaches uh, students about finances, Roy Paul is here with us this morning. Uh, this is what you guys specialize in, talking to young people about, look, you're making this money now. Do you know what to do with it? Do you know how to handle it? Yes, and I wore my green pants for money. I nice. That would be appropriate for the green, segment. Green, yes. Uh, but we talk with teenagers all the time who are at a very pivotal age in their life. They're about to get inundated with credit card solicitations. They're mm -hmm. going off to college. And then right after they graduate, they're going to get their first jobs. So we talk to them about the very fundamental basics about money management. I remember going to college, and you go to the bookstore, and you're buying your supplies and your books, and then right next to it, there's a little uh, uh, display for a visa card. Uh, you know, it's, it's advertised. Uh, to students, and that can be a, a dangerous road for them to go down if they haven't been taught. Right, and that's why parents having the conversation with their teenagers about credit cards and, and what that means, because credit is a good thing. Sometimes we look at credit and we go, "That's a you stay away from credit cards, you know, take them out when you're 30, but that's not really realistic. You need to build it early. You're going to uh, graduate and get a, a job and you're going to have to apply for an apartment. So having that credit, it's good. Uh, it's just about managing it. So we talk about your needs versus your wants. The things that you absolutely need, put it in your card. But if you don't really need $300 pair of sneakers, don't put it on the card. And yeah. Buy it. Right. A lot of uh, kids through school, even through, through high school, uh, they take economics classes. Um, but personal finance, are you surprised at how few kids graduate from high school uh, with getting some, some formal instruction on personal finance. It is surprising. Indiana gets to see uh, when it comes to personal finance uh, education. Um, but the important thing to remember is that each state can sort of dictate what those rules are. Mm. Uh, and in Indiana, it's a requirement, but the local school districts can dictate how they implement it, if at all. Uh, and so uh, from a legislative standpoint, that's where the requirements are. But what we do at Sensibility is really focus on uh, the fundamentals, irrespective of that. So we're a supplement to curriculums. Mm -hmm. So if an economics teacher in Indiana were to call us and say, hey, I heard about your personal finance education, we'll send them our curriculum for free. So they, you can actually help uh, supplement lessons in schools. Exactly. Uh, parents can come to you for some formal instruction because maybe they could use some too while Absolutely. they're at it. What are some of the biggest, maybe like the two or three uh, biggest mistakes or things to avoid you know that uh, young people need to know right now? Yeah, so the two things that stand out to me is a budget. 42% um, of Americans don't operate with a budget. And if you don't learn those fundamental skills as a teenager, when you get much older, it'll be difficult to catch up. Yeah. Uh, and so the 50-30-20 rule, 50% 50 of your budget on the expenses that you absolutely need. So if you're a teenager, you're probably not spending money on rent, but maybe you pay for your car note. 30% uh, on the things you want, and then 20% save it. Don't touch it. And mm -hmm. that's a very important lesson to pay yourself first because a lot of people don't save in this country. The next thing is when it comes to college planning. It's amazing to me how many young people I talk to. They know they're going to college, they're taking out loans, and I say to them, oh, when you graduate in four years, how much is your loan going to be? Your payment. They can't answer they that question. Know. And so you have to work yourself backwards. If you want to be a publicist and the average salary is $30,000, $35,000 a year, I know that sounds alarming, but the salaries aren't that high for many things, yeah. then you have to say that 20% from the budget that you're going to be saving and paying back your loans, if your monthly payment is higher than 20% of your prospective salary, 
you're taking out too much allowance. Yeah. So many great points that people could learn and take down and just commit to memory. How can people reach you at Sensibility? Uh, Sensibility.org. We're on Facebook, social media. We have a great website presence. Call us. Everything is free. Good time to start those lessons, too, with so many kids heading okay. back to school here in the next coming weeks. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. All right. Jessica, to you. Guys, thanks so much. 8.56 now. If you love lasagna, then today is your day. It's National Lasagna Day, and we're here to help you celebrate with, of course, lasagna. The deal.